Good YouTube, Mike Biggs boxing on deck. First off, like and subscribe. Second, go check out my merch at mikebiggsboxing.myshockify.com. Last but not least, shout out to the entire LDBC, the Lion Den boxing community. Enjoy the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I want to take this time out and dedicate this video to none other than Melissa St. Ville, a.k.a. Little Miss Tyson, a phenomenal athlete, a superstar, who didn't lace him up at first. Now, Little Miss Tyson ran track and won numerous medals and awards in 100-meter high hurdles, 400-meter relay, and adding on to her career, she's, she's a two-time American, All-American and also won gold at the Empire State Games. She loves running, but her passion was boxing. Fighting in three listed weight classes, super feather, light, and welterweight. Winning four titles, listed three at 130 pounds and one at 147 pounds. As a superstar athlete, she traveled the world. And she's been to places like China, New Zealand, Peru, Finland, and Haiti. Fun fact, she's born of Haitian descent on September 8th, 1983. She grew up in Long Island, sources say, standing at a stunning five foot four inches with a 64 inch reach challenging opponents in an orthodox stance. During my research, I came across a couple of videos of Lil Miss Tyson sparring, training, and actual bouts. As I analyzed footage of Mel, I noticed a lot of fluid motion great range, and my absolute favorite, footwork. Not to mention speed, accuracy, and great out punch, out, um, punch, punch output, and ring generalship. Hashtag ring IQ. With one of the prettiest smiles in boxing, Lil Miss Tyson is a spectacular star athlete. This video is not about her boxing career. It's about what she advocates for. I've been following this interesting well-spoken queen on social media for quite some time. And I've grown to greatly appreciate the person she is and how she dedicates her life to and for children on the spectrum, autism awareness, you know? And here's a couple of quotes during my research, man. Quote, search for a beautiful heart, not necessarily a beautiful face. Beautiful people are not always good people, but good people are always beautiful, end quote. As I read that, I thought of my wife, of course, but also Melissa St. Ville and a number of other women. But watching Mel and her interaction with Kayleen warms my soul, warms everybody's soul. It makes you wonder why more people can't be like Melissa. I salute her and add her to my list of phenomenal women. And in closing, this was just a little snippet of her life that I just had to put out so my subscribers, family, friends, and the mighty LDBC could hear my thoughts on the matter. I'm very excited about her future, and I feel there's far more to her story than the eyes can see, but we'll just have to stay tuned. That's all I got for you. Thanks for watching. And always, man, subscribe to your boy, Mike Biggs Boxing. You know what I'm saying? The LDBC content creator is always on, on time with the content. I'm always going to uh, give you the fire content. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to toot my own horn. <laughs> anyway, this is why... This is why Melissa St. Ville is on my Woman of the Year, Day, Hour, Month spotlight. You know what I'm saying? She's the epitome of excellence and great taste. A person that is a perfect example of a woman dedicated to a cause. And I personally think that she should be commended and honored for her career and her awareness. The, wor the, the world needs strong women, women who will lift and build others who will love and be loved. Women who live bravely, both tender and fierce. Women of indomitable will. 
each time a woman stands up for herself, she stands up for all women, Maya Angelou. We need women at all levels, including the top, to change the dynamic, reshape the conversation, to make sure women's voices are heard and heeded, not overlooked and ignored. Peace out, Mike Biggs Boxing.